I am so excited for 2023, especially the Macs that are coming out next year. By the way, I'm gonna speed through this, so make sure you carefully listen. Starting off with the M3 MacBook Air. It is said to have a three nanometer process, increasing power efficiency. Now this means that we finally may get 20 hours plus on the MacBooks because the MacBooks have just enough battery to call itself a good laptop. So I'm looking forward to this one. We also have the 15 inch MacBook Air. Now this is such as the same design as the M3 MacBook Air, which is the same design as the M2 MacBook Air. So basically you're just getting a bigger laptop and the same chip, which is something that I really want. I want a huge laptop with great performance and great portability. We are also set to have a new iMac with the M3 chip. Same design, just a chip upgrade. It was disappointing last year that, that we did not see a new iMac, but this one I think is gonna be great. Okay, so we have the M2 Pro and the M2 Max MacBook Pros. Now, the M2 Pro is set to have 12 CPU cores and 19 GPU cores. The M2 Max is set to have 12 CPU cores and 38 GPU cores. Now, the last Mac that I'm going to talk about today is the Mac Pro, but I am disappointed in it for two reasons. Number one is that it was supposed to come in WWDC last year, but that did not pan out. And number two is that it was meant to come with the M2 Extreme chip, which would be double of the M2 Ultra chip, which would be 30% faster than the M1 Ultra, which would basically mean incredible performance. But because of cost reasons, Apple could not keep the M2 Extreme. People like Hollywood editors, YouTube editors, and just people who do a heavy workload need a good Mac if they're looking for Mac OS. Now, the Mac Pro is the best product for them to buy, but if it doesn't have the greatest performance, then there's almost no reason to buy it. So that's pretty much it. My name is Surya, and I'll see you next week.